Go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself. I am Sergeant Jose Merlot from Lakewood, Washington. I'm married, have no children, and I have a dog. When, when you found out you were deploying, did you have any goals related to this mission or yourself? What I expected from the deployment to Kuwait was you're going to be showing up, you're going to be doing Army stuff, which means showing up, doing PT, working 9 to 5, then clocking out, and then just do it again the next day. So it's kind of those things for me as a reservist, I'm not going to be a soldier full time once I leave this deployment. Those were factors that set up, hey, I need to prepare for once I'm out of here. While I was here, I was able to become certified as a nutrition health coach. Certain jobs, it's requiring the education. So I knew education was very important. From the online colleges I see, which ones took the education benefits we do have as service members, so tuition assistance, GI Bill. And once they said, hey, you got in, I applied, I enrolled, I started taking classes right away. So I was able to do those courses and still do BLC during that time. I was still able to work. I just scheduled the specific time throughout the day to knock out those classes. My PT score when I got here, I want to say was in 184. My run time was 21, 30. It was failing to the Army standards. I didn't pass. I was able to lose about 50 pounds. When I recently took the ACFT, I was able to run at a 14, 14, scoring at a 565 in my ACFT. Why do you think it's imp important to, you know, have a mentor or somebody to hold you accountable? I think it's important to have a mentor, to have someone there to hold me accountable because without them, there's not someone external there to see, hey, you're doing what you said, you're keeping to your word. They help me with as much as they know. I know that Sergeant Seltzer, he has his degree in something that I'm not majoring in, but he was able to help me just, this is how you study or this is how you learn. Now that you've become a non-commissioned officer, what have you learned about your role in helping others with goals? As an NCO, you need to have a sit down with your soldiers and say, hey, what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? And then help them achieve that by setting smaller goals to get to the next goal, to then get to the next goal. This has been a, you know, a tough nine months because we've had COVID, you're separated from your wife and family, you're, you're doing all this stuff. Did, did having goals help keep you motivated and sustain you through the nine months? Having the goals helped me sustain through these nine months in many ways, We're away from our families, but at the same time when you're setting goals and you're helping yourself, you're not only helping yourself while you're here, you're helping yourself when you come back home. You can see when you write your goals on paper and you knock them out, you say, hey, I am doing this, I am doing faster, I am, I am going faster, I am knocking out an extra push-up, I'm doing an extra sit-up. My leadership and chain of command helped me achieve my goals by asking me what I wanted to do in regards to my goals and then just say, hey, you're gonna stick to your word. My sergeant said, hey, we're showing up and running. And you know, even though if you don't wanna run, we're doing it because we're helping you. I am proud of myself. I'm proud of my sergeant's help, Sergeant Brote and Sergeant Seltzer. Without their help, honestly, I probably would still be like 250 pounds, failing my PT, just going back home, doing nothing, like back as a real estate agent. That's awesome, man. You know, I'll tell you, just listening to your story, um, how you came over here, not knowing what to expect, but how quickly you were able to get focused, how you had the help, you know, of your leaders, your squad leaders, and also just the resources that you're leaving here, you know, in a much better position than you got here on so many different fronts. Congratulations, man. You did a great job over here, and, you know, we're all impressed with what you've been able to do. <laughs> all right, y'all.